Hello coin collectors out there, welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully you enjoyed my recent video I made about the star notes on the $100 bills and how valuable those can be due to the fact that $100 bills aren't used too frequently and they're hard to get your hands on. So uh, if you can check for $100 bills, go to the bank, take out some money, scan through it, Look for it, look for star notes and then probably just return them right back to the bank that same day. So that way you can keep on paying your bills. But this video is going to be about the 2015 Philadelphia Mint Dime Error Coins. However, first I wanted to recap with the 2015 America the Beautiful Error Coins. Now I made a video about these three specific ones a little bit earlier in the month. We have the Bombay Hook, the Homestead, and Saratoga. So I want to recap those because it turns out there are a lot more error coins than I realized that relate to 2015. So this one right here, Bombay Hook, representing the state of Delaware. There are some extra uh, blades of grass that are actually going into the water. Uh, they're going the opposite direction, so they're like right there, and then they're going down. Uh, that's kind of a, a common error that people have found. You can see there's so much detail with this grass that you can imagine that uh, errors would really pop up in the fine detail. So people have found a lot of those. Keep your eye out for that. This next one right here uh, is the Homestead Quarter, also made in 2015 representing the state of Nebraska. So the error coin that I'm most aware of with this is that there's like an extra, uh, there's many cut errors, but one of them is there's an extra like a line that's going through that bottom window right there, right on the, the head for the, uh, the well. So it's kind of cutting right across there, but there are lots of other known cut errors. So that's a cut error is just like a little metal piece that's kind of sticking out or going in a line that people aren't expecting. And there's one more. Uh, this is the Star Saratoga quarter representing the state of New York. So the error for this quarter, uh, people have called it, <laughs> nicknamed it, uh, like the gum error. It exists with, see that finger right there? There's like an extra piece of metal that's sticking up in between the finger and the handle for the sword so people call it a kind of a gum error or like a cigarette that might have been in his finger so that's uh appearing right there but uh now that we recapped those we can move on to the dimes as i said there are many errors that are known for the 2015 philadelphia mint coins i'm not sure exactly why but if you search on ebay you'll see just all kinds of error coins for 2015 so the mint just must not have been doing a great job at keeping up their dies uh, and just kind of let them deteriorate i guess not sure exactly so we have the 2015 denver mint on the left there the philadelphia mint on the right so i'll just run by the mintages for you to give you kind of a general understanding of uh, how many were made so there were 1.5 billion made at the Denver Mint and 1.4 billion made at the Philadelphia Mint. So quite a lot of these produ were produced. So there's going to be a ton in circulation and a ton of errors out there. So let's look at this 2015 uh, Philadelphia Mint coin here. Now the only way that this coin is going to be valuable more than face value if there was an error. These these are 91% copper, 83, 8.3% nickel. So nothing special for their metal content. So let me uh, show you the coolest error that I'm aware of. Uh, this error is known as the Scarface Struck error. It was made uh, by the mint. The mint uh, came out with an error where there's a kind of a ga die gouge going right here. Now die gouges are relatively common, but this one's very pervasive and it's right by his kind of his lips, his uh, mouth. So it gives it the name uh, Scarface error, kind of similar to what you would see with kind of the modern Joker in the uh, Batman movies. So let me just show you that coin 
on eBay. So this is what it looks like right there. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that super cool, that error? So this coin is selling for $2,100 right now. So there's quite a lot of people that are checking this out, as you can see. So this coin, very cool design to it, 2015P Scarface error. Now there's other errors that I want to make you aware of. Um, as I said that there were over 1.5, around 1.5 billion of these produced. So the most common error that you'll see on eBay is actually kind of a weak strike error. Uh, and that's just because there were so many of these made. Unfortunately, they don't really sell for too much above face value. Let me pull one up for you right now. Do, do, do. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, uh, here's one. So this one actually, um, it has some doubling and a weak strike, and it's selling for $5. Buy it now, so it's not even on in an auction. You can buy it. Uh, let's get the zoom in for you. So there we go. The zoom's working. Look at this one right here, 2015 Philadelphia Mint Roosevelt dime with many errors, uh, machine doubling and weak strike. It's a cool coin, as they say, uh, selling for five dollars plus three dollars shipping. So about eight bucks can get you this coin right here. As you can see, the date on it, it's almost non-existent at all. And I imagine that there is some doubling involved in that. But the real difference between the two coins that we looked at there. Uh, one was graded by PCGS, the Scarface one, that was graded. So someone sent that into uh, PCGS. You could also send it to NGCS to get it graded. And then they grade it. Um, and that really drives up the value of it. The one we looked at right there that was on eBay for $5, that's just the raw coin. So that coin hasn't been graded by a coin grading agency. And the reason it probably hasn't been graded uh, is because the additional value that you would get from grading it wouldn't exceed uh, the cost of grading. So grading, I've never won, I've never gotten one graded myself, but I imagine it can be, I think from what I've heard, 20 to 30, maybe $40 to get it graded, depending on if you're a member and how many coins you get graded. So uh, you really need to have a cool design like that Scarface and it has to be in great condition to make it worth it. So, I unfortunately, I don't see any errors with my uh, 2015 Philadelphia Mint uh, coin. Real bummer there. If you've watched the video, you kind of uh, know that happens to me most often. But I usually just use these videos to point out error coins to you people so you can know uh, where to look on your own. So here's the reverse of the coin. From what I've heard, most of the errors for the 2015 Philadelphia Mint occur on the obverse. Now, there is also a error that I want to point out to your attention to. Uh, it was called the partial collar. So the error coin existed by, see this edge, see how it's redded? There's uh, indents throughout the coin. It actually wasn't at some point. It was kind of like only uh, up to here, and then the rest of it was flat. So it was like half flat, half redded, and they called that a partial collar error coin. So that's a new one. Maybe you can add to your uh, vocabulary of error coins, the partial collar. All right, so uh, keep your eye out for the 2015 Philadelphia Mint in synopsis. Uh, there were billions of these made so that resulted in a lot of error coins as well uh, the more that were made the more errors uh, you know the mint can't just go from making uh, a limited amount one year to billions the next and not expect any problems so this is big d coins signing off if you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe check it out tell your friends about it enjoy have a great day and take care everyone goodbye